Mexa. Today we have a little bit different kind of webinar for everybody who's going to be on here. Um, so I'll do like a round of introductions and um, then we're going to play a quick video from uh, our resident Microsoft expert and um, our director of UC and um, so we'll get started. Uh, welcome everybody. I'm Amy Phipps, Director of Marketing for Max Hub um, for the United States. Uh, and I want to go ahead, I'll go ahead and pass it over to you, Jessica. Hi, I'm Jessica Williams. I'm Max Hub's Marketing Coordinator. I'm located in our Lake Forest office and we also have Andy with us. Could you introduce yourself, Andy? Oh, you're muted. I am muted. Um, so hi everybody, this is uh, Andy Teo, I'm the Director of Products from Maxa. I'm actually based out of the Bay Area, uh, San, San Francisco Bay Area. Awesome, and he'll be answering any questions anyone has at the end of um, the webinar, so. Yeah, so everybody, we kind of, normally we go through and just answer questions throughout, but um, this time we're gonna have Andy answer questions at the end. So I actually have a demo from Charles Montoya, our Director of Unified Communications, and Alan Nichols, who is our de Business Development Manager. So I really want to go ahead and share that with you guys. Um, so just give me one second and I will share. We'll go over to Alan and Charlie. Hey everybody, Charlie Montoya. I'm here with Alan Nichols, our BDM for Microsoft Teams Rooms Hardware Products. And you know, you might be surprised seeing us here today. You, you might be surprised seeing an IFP behind me today because I know when you log in, you thought we were gonna be talking about 21 by nine. And I promise you, we will. But after the announcement of our X-Core product, our Microsoft Teams Room Hardware product, We've had so much buzz, so many questions coming to us. And not only that, but 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 I, I got I got one of the early systems that just popped into our office. So I was like, hey, we, we gotta change up the webinar, guys. Sorry for the late notice, sorry for telling you last minute, but we gotta show you this. You gotta take a look at this. So today we're gonna be talking about our new X Core kit. What's in it? What does it do? How does it work? How simple is it? Right? And what's it all about? So I'm here with Alan today. Alan, thanks for, for, for jumping on the call. I know this was last minute for us doing it this way, but you know, it's kind of how we do it at Max up every now and then. <laughs> so hope you're doing it keeps, well. it. keeps us on our toes. It's a good time. It does, it does, you know? And look, I'll say this, I was really excited. So folks, let's let's start with this. What is MTR? What's the X-Core kit? What are we doing? Well, hey, if, if you haven't heard, if you've been living under a rock somewhere, Max Hub announced our partnership with Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Inspire, right? Big announcement. Hey, we're getting ready to partner them. We're going to come out with new products for them. And one of the first products that we've announced and that we're in the, the certification phase for, for is our X-Core kit. And I have it here today, right? So it literally, we got a touch panel, right? We got a full touch panel and the PC module that comes along with it, right? So. Hey, Alan, why don't you talk a little bit about what this kit is, what the X-Core is, how it works, kind of the functionality about it. Yeah, so the X-Core kit, it, in a nutshell, it's going to be your front of room device. It's going to be a PC that's going to control your meetings. It's going to control what you're presenting on your TV. It'll control your display. It'll control If you're using an IFP, it'll also control your touch and whiteboard on it. That little small touch screen is going to be your area where you're going to do the one-click join. As we can see, we have a our meeting right on there and we have the nice purple for a uh, team's meeting and that actually brings up another great point where we can have different color coded meetings so if we're going to send a zoom meeting to it we're going to send a webex meeting or um sorry to mention them but the late blue jeans is uh it's still going to be out there for a while even though that uh, they're being uh discontinued so but we do record I'm not that that hurt me a little bit. I, re I remember when blue jeans was the go-to back in the day. That's how old I am, folks, right? So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, blue, blue jeans was the go-to, and then go-to was the go-to, and then yeah. WebEx was the go-to, and then Zoom was, and now it's Teams. Yep. And no, exactly. exactly. So 
So we got the touch panel, right? And the touch panel is great, folks, because not only does it give you all the functionality that you need at the, at the actual conference room table, but I also have an HDMI ingest here, right? So I can literally walk up with my laptop and plug right in and now show, show PowerPoint presentation, Excel spreadsheets. So all that native kind of um, uh, data sharing, file sharing, showing off and presentations can still be done through the system or like Microsoft prefers, do it through your laptop, do it wirelessly directly through a Microsoft Teams call, right? That's the simplest way to do it. And the connectivity, man, I will tell you, it's real simple, real easy, plug and play, ready to go. So Alan, if I look in here, yeah, I obviously got I got my USB C. And yes, folks, USB C from the touch panel to our PC module. Now here's what I'll tell you. Everybody that I've told about this pre, they're like, hey, but Charlie, you only get like 15 feet out of that USB C. It comes with a five meter USB C cable, right? And we have an option for a 10 meter cable, so it can even grow further for you. So, um, and I will say this, folks, because I have had, been asked the question, no, we're not selling the cable separately for you guys that want to use it on other projects. It's designed for MTR, okay? So, no, go find your own cables. We got ours. So, but on this, you've got your USB-C going from your, your, your touch panel directly to your PC module. you got your HDMI ingest. you got your USB. And then you also got power on here, right? Is that the other part of it? Uh, so you have a USB Type A port in there also, yep. so that's going to enable you to if you're if somebody's going to bring in anything that they need to charge, if uh, you're going to have another audio like USB audio device that's going to be at the center of the room, kind of like actually we have these also yeah. our little uh, audio puck. So if you have this, it'll plug into that, so it operates as a USB hub, and it's got an HDMI ingest on the back of that too. So if uh, somebody they don't want to use Teams on their computer. They're going to come in, they're going to present. They don't want to install Teams. They don't want to do the web client, but they just want to present to the meeting. You plug the HDMI cable into the back there, plug it into their laptop or whatever kind of device they bring. They're good to go. What that'll do too. Yeah. Oh, what was it? oh no, I was thinking, and I got to tell everybody what's really cool about this. What I typically hate about touch panels and, and touch panels, typically you have them, and when you try and pass them around, the cables get unplugged, things get unscrewed, things happen. We've got a really cool system in here that helps lock the cables down so you don't have to worry about them moving or bouncing around at all. So you can pass this around the table as you want or as you see fit and not have any issues. You're not going to lose connectivity to it at all. So it really is a real, real cool setup. Yeah, and if, if you really do need to pass something around the table as well, the, uh, just the whole team's client, if somebody brings in their Android phone, their iPhone, their tablet, and you don't want to have to pass a wired device around, you can actually use Teams on your mobile device as the room controller. So you can have a second touch screen to add people, mute people, because, you know, sometimes people have their dogs barking in the background and <laughs> not everybody's yeah, going to have that, happen, unfortunately. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, you can, you can use your mobile device as a control panel for this as well. So you're not locked down just to the touch screen. And let me walk, let me walk back here for a second, folks, because I also want to talk. We talked about the touch panel or the the control panel for a moment, but we also have our PC module here in the background, right? And when you take a look at the PC module, really simple, really lightweight, a lot of connectivity on this, right? So I got my USB C that goes out directly to my touch panel or, or my my control panel, like I said. So USB C from here to there. This gives it all the power it needs, all the control it needs that true connectivity. So only one cable going directly to the table, right? Makes it simple and easy. I got a single HDMI out going to my monitor. You notice, oh, hey, yeah, that's a View Pro of ours, right? That, that's one of our guys. So you can go directly to our View Pro or any of our commercial displays or any of our 21 to my nine displays. I then have four USB ports on the back, right? So Alan, that's for those customers that are looking to put these in larger rooms, right? Expand out the audio and such, right? You want to touch Absolutely. on that for a moment? Yeah, so we, we use USB 3 on the back of ours too. So they're all high bandwidth connections. So that's going to give you an option to plug in your SO7 video bar. It's going to give you an option to plug in your big touch displays. It's going to give you an option, say you have ceiling tile microphones that are team certified from uh, like Shure or Sennheiser. 
If you're going to bring bring it in any other third party video, third party audio devices, you're going to bring in some kind of a QSC DSP in there. You're good to go. Everything's a USB when it comes to Teams. Plug and play, ready to rock. And we've got four USB ports on the back. Yeah, and and I'll say obviously you also have network connectivity. All right, you have, you have the Ethernet cable that's back there as well. You got your power that's back there as well, right? So I, I would tell you, folks, the X Core kit itself is this right this is the x core kit so when you take a look at our prices when you take a look at what we show we have the x core kit is our starting bundle package and this has the pc module this has the control panel this has all the cabling that goes back and forth between them and it also has the mount for mounting the actual pc module behind the TV on a wall, right? Real simple and easy. You, you know Max. Max is all about giving you guys the mouse, right? So we want to make sure you have all that there. It also comes with a five meter USB-C cable, which I thought was really cool, right? That's really, really helpful. So now in saying that, you know, people look out there in the marketplace and they start seeing the prices for a lot of these. And most of these type of bundle kits start at around $2,000 and just go up from there. We're really excited about our price point. We're really excited about our price point, right? We are sitting at seven ninety nine and ninety nine cents. So just under, just one penny under eight hundred bucks. Alan, is there anybody in the marketplace that's anywhere close to this? Nope. Nobody can touch us there. We are leaps and bounds below on the pricing, and we didn't sacrifice performance. We didn't sacrifice quality. It's actually what's one great point is we are using 12th generation Intel i3 processors in them. So our processors are far faster than pretty much anybody else in the market, especially yeah. at our price point. Oh, without a doubt. All right. and, and look, I will tell you, folks, make sure you reach out to us. We're happy to show you comparisons. We're happy to show you side by side. Alan did a lot of benchmarking on his own to actually test our competition versus ours and see where they're at. And we're a good 20, 20%, 20 if not a lot, or if not more, more, more processor friendly than our competition, right? You can see we give you better processing power. On top of that, we're running 12th generation, right? That's as new as it is. So that also gives us the advantage to everybody else because you know how Microsoft is. You know how these guys are. They come out with new software updates. They come up with new firmware updates. They're going to want the newest processor out there pushing their systems and pushing their their products so we got a really leap ahead of our competition and that's what we did with the, the 12th generation it, it's phenomenal to see the way the quality works on it. it's great we're really excited about it so um now we're not just launching this in a single bundle right yes you can buy it with the pc module you can buy it with the the, the touch panel or the control panel and then you can add in your own own microsoft team certified camera your own microsoft team speakerphone but in that announcement, we had a little bit more, right? So right there, you are seeing our brand new SO7 video bar that is, is in the process of being Microsoft Teams certified. So you can plug that directly into your system. And now you have a full, small or huddle room kind of a setup. We also have a couple other products that are being certified, right, right Alan? Yeah, we actually have another, uh, it looks like a webcam, but it's going to be our, uh, it's going to be a small camera that you're going to be able to put on top of any one of your displays. And that's going to be paired up with our puck also. So yeah. if you have a room that you don't want to mount a sound bar on or have a mounted video on, you could have your USB camera, have that be your far room video, and have this as your wireless speaker device that's going to just sit right in the middle of the table. And this bad boy can cover uh what has eight microphones around it yeah. so if you look yeah. it's got microphones on every side and i believe it's what an eight meter range on this bad boy it's phenomenal look at i will tell you and, and people that have, have you know worked with max up for a while they know the bm35 it's a great speaker phone i will tell you we put that speaker phone up against everybody else in the competition in its price point and we would destroy them if you take a look at people that are above our price point, we beat them. The quality is phenomenal. And the cool part is you can pair two of them up, right? So you can actually be in larger conferences. Really, really cool. And this is the neat thing, folks, right? I'm really excited about this because when I tell everybody this is phase one for us, right? This is phase one. This is us getting in the door and showing that, hey, we can really build some phenomenal products for Microsoft Teams. 
but it's also just the beginning, right? Hey, great, we got our X Core kit. Hey, great, we got our X Core kit with the SO7. We got it with our W W21 camera and our BM35, but we're going to continue to grow it out to be more, right? So we're really, really excited about it. So that was the first part of the conversation that we wanted to have with you. We wanted to let you know what's coming out. We wanted you to let you see it. You can see I'm excited about this stuff. I'm really excited about this stuff. But I also know in talking to a lot of our channel partners, a lot of people are still asking, hey, what is Microsoft Teams? Why are people really jumping up and down with that? And that's the other part that we wanted to touch on. I, we, I wanted to have Alan jump on a call with you all and show you what the buzz about Microsoft Teams is, how it works, why it works. Why are people so drawn to it? So, Alan, I'll let you jump in and, and, and really hit that point if you could. Yeah, so that, that's kind of a, it, it almost gives off like an Apple-esque vibe where everybody loves their iPhones because it just works. You don't have to mess with it. Everything's really easy to do. And when we talked Microsoft traditionally, that was never the case. We remember Skype for business. We remember like old Microsoft NetMeeting from the 90s. We remember Office Communication Server and they were, they were okay, but they were also the reason that people like WebEx and Cisco grew and Microsoft didn't. When Microsoft came out with Teams, their uh, entire goal was to make it so it just works. It's easy to use, it's user friendly. You don't have to think about it. You don't need really big training courses for either your admin staff or your users. So what it brought in is this ecosystem that's just friendly. You go into your Outlook, you hit new Teams meeting, you look in your listings, find your room. It could be broken down by room size. It could be broken down by the type of equipment you need. We can put different, uh, teams can actually interact with temperature sensors, different like, like uh, dust sensors in the room for people who have asthma. And we can put all of those things into the team's booking so somebody can find a room in their organization that's going to work for them. They select the room, find it, book it, they walk in and, oh, I guess our meeting expired because we went back over and well, turned off the screen. But on the touch screen, you'll just see your meeting on there. You walk in, you touch it, and that's it. It brings in your camera. It brings in your display. It brings in your speakers. Everything that's plugged into that instantly becomes part of your meeting. And where Teams really differentiates is every meeting is a hybrid meeting. You don't have to say, everybody in this room can only see this. We've all been in those meetings where there's a huge mess of wires on the desk. Then somebody has to figure out which cord to plug in. They have to figure out how to get it up on the screen. When they get it up on the screen, people who are working from home, because that's a reality now, work from home is here to stay. So when you get up all your presentation up on the screen, nobody at home can see it. So with Teams, when you do present to it, you either plug in by HDMI or you share through the Teams client. It's not only gonna show at the front of room display, it's going to show on everybody who's logged into the meeting, whether they're on their mobile phone, whether they're on a tablet. They could be they could be on an airplane using airplane Wi-Fi to see it. We, we we've all seen the uh, the memes and the oh, jokes and about people on vacation just yeah, yeah. turning off their cameras and muting it because they're sitting on the beach attending a meeting. And down here in Florida during the pandemic, it was is so it just the. the yeah, having this whole hybrid work piece and having everything uh, work so easily with Microsoft and Teams, it showed because everyone was on vacation for weeks at a time. They no longer had to take vacation. They just came down here, rented an Airbnb. They worked during the day, went to the beach after work. And, and Alan, one part that I, that I love about it, right? And once again, I'm an old AV guy, right? I've been this for a long time. And the biggest frustration from a lot of customers out there is that going, hey, Charlie, if I go to my San Diego office, I have to learn one way of using the meeting rooms. If I go to my LA office, I got to learn another way. If I go to Cleveland, I got to learn another way. None of the rooms are, are standardized when it comes into touching the pieces. And if you wanted to have that standardization, it was never really available for the SMB companies. It was never really available for the medium-sized companies. You'd have to hire a full-blown integrator to build code on various touch panels and then make sure you deploy that throughout your ecosystem environment. It was costly. It was expensive. It was time-consuming. And, oh, man, I, I, you felt bad if you changed one piece of the code because you'd have to pay a fortune to get it updated. 
it's all standardized. Every one yep. of your conference rooms you walk into, it's the exact same thing. You don't have to worry about anything else. You know how it works. I want to make a call. I push the call. I want to do a video call. I push the meet. If I want to sit there and join, I push the join with being ID. Or you just invite the room to the call and now it's on. All those are things where it just helps the productivity grow, right? I've been looking at video for a long time and I keep on saying, and, and a lot of us, a lot of guys that I know and love, if you talk to Gary Kane, if you talk to, to my buddy at Let's Do Video, if you talk to a lot of the guys in the industry, they'll all tell you the exact same thing. People just want to sit down and have a meeting. They don't want to worry about everything else in it, right? I don't want to think about that stuff. I want to go in and I want to be productive. And Microsoft Teams, with the meeting room design they have, allows you to do that. And now Maps Hub is able to come in and help you gain that experience, help you gain what they need. And, and look, folks, I will say this to you, and I, I'm going to be very transparent here. Max Hub is doing this at a price point because we know, we know that we need to get this out to the masses. We know what video can become and what it can do. And we know that there are so many conference rooms out there today that people want to enable, but can't because of the price point. You don't have that issue anymore. You don't have to worry about a price point. $800, right? for your touch panel, for your, your PC model. Add your camera, your display, and your microphone. Or we got a bundle kit for you. It's making it simple. That's what we're really trying to do. I just wanted to touch on that point, Alan. Go, go ahead. And yeah, I look at I love the screen, folks. You, you got to get a kick out of the screen, right? And, and Alan, I know you got it right behind you as well. You can change the background. You can change the, the look of it. But as soon as you walk in that room, you know exactly what meetings you're going to have, what are going to take place. When the meeting's over, it drops off, right? So it's real <laughs> simple and really easy for people to do. And a cool part about it, too, is say you didn't book a room. You just said, hey, let's have a meeting. You walk into a room, you have a Teams meeting going with, say, you're a manager and you have a couple of your people working from home. You don't want to take it on your laptop. You could walk into the room and use this Bluetooth beaconing to figure out, hey, am I close to this MTR? And when you join that meeting or when you walk in there and say, hey, would you like to transfer to meeting audio? You hit yes. It's going to take it off of your laptop, send it right to the Teams room. And then you just take it, use all the audio, all the video right in the Teams room so you can relax and not have to have that. Uh, you know, you, everybody knows that laptop look where it's just looking at your chin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And look, that's such a cool feature, right? The fact that I can be on my phone, I'm on a Teams call on my phone, and then I can walk in the conference room and just transfer it to the conference room, right? It's just so simple, so easy, so elegant, right? I mean, that's what we're looking for. And, you know, I just come back. I've, I've always, my, my whole focus has always been that SMB play. Because I know when you can get a product to where the SMB can adopt it, it's simple, it's easy, it's cost effective, right? And I think Microsoft Teams has that ability. The biggest hindrance to it was the price of the hardware. It's not a hindrance no more. It's not a hindrance no more, right? We can make this for everybody. Um, and yeah, I tell the integrators out there, the, the installers out there, you're gonna love this product, right? Simple, plug and play, easy to go. It, it really saves a lot of time and energy for people. So, um, Hey, I, I see, I, you know what, I know we tried to keep these to, to a certain period of time, so I don't want to go too long. Alan, give me one or two more reasons. Give me one or two big reasons why a company should really be looking for a Microsoft Teams room, right? When you're looking at it today, here's what's driving me. Here's what I want to do. So the, the really cool thing is, it's, it's it, like you said, it's a productivity play. But one thing that really adds to kind of to give that productivity is, like you said, ease of use. It'll pay for itself in the first week, to be honest, because everybody knows have, have eight people in the room times 15 minutes. So you got what? Uh, that's two hours of time wasted right there. And you had to pay two hours of labor to everyone in that room sitting there trying to figure out how to start the meeting. And that's where Teams Rooms comes in and it makes everything just work. It makes it easy. The second part is, is we can take things like if you have a physical whiteboard, you could put a content camera on this, point it at your whiteboard, 
bring your physical whiteboard into the room. And if you don't want to do that, what I can do is I'm actually going to call my MTR here and kind of show you something cool. So you can see it's calling me right now. I can accept. <laughs> Turn off the microphone there. <laughs> so everybody can look at the back of me. And what we can do on this is here, I'll get on me. Turn off my audio there. Is my audio sound good, Charlie? Yep. Sound better now. There you go. Okay, perfect. So as we have this going, you can kind of see what's happening. We have, I have my transcription going on the bottom of the screen here. And you saw how easy it was to just call it, answer, and join. And one thing I can do here that's really cool, I'm going to start a whiteboard. And, and I'll say so, this, as a video guy for a long time, I love the intelligent framing that you can do, right? I mean, if you look at the video that he's seeing on his screen, he's getting the entire video. We're able to zoom in, right? Microsoft Teams automatically zooms in and captures a person and shows you the person. It shows you what you want to see, not the entire room, right? That's really amazing. I, I love the fact that they, they've gotten that set up in their system. And of course, we have demo bugs, and I'm not gonna be able to show the whiteboard right now, but we can do that in the future. <laughs> there, there's a setting that has to be turned on, and it, it, it's the usual demo bugs. They're, they're always a lot of fun. No problem. I'll put really on that one. Yeah. I can just leave that going in the background so we can we can watch it. <laughs> and, and look, here's what I tell you guys, right? And you're gonna see us. We're always gonna tell you, hey, look, hey, we're gonna do something, try it, make it doesn't work, and we'll fix it later. We got this working, <laughs> right? So brand new systems. These are all test systems for us, so we're having fun with them. A couple things that I tell you folks, right? And and once again, I'm new to the entire MTR world. I really am, right? I have been at other companies, we focus on Microsoft Teams hardware, but never to this extent. Right? And here's really where I see us coming out. Oh, hey, look at the whiteboard started to pop up. <laughs> here it goes. <laughs> it was the first time I started it on the unit, so it, uh, it, it was okay. taking its time. No problem. You want to touch on that real quick? Go for it. Hit, hit on the whiteboard here. for a moment. I'll, I'll come back here. Okay. Can you see the whiteboard uh, up in the yep. meeting room here? Yep. So yeah, I could just come here. Now I have my interactive flat panel. And now I just, oh, helps if I select a pen first. There you go. So look at that, folks, right? And, and, and now, once again, I'll say this. He, he's actually, I think you're on one of our View Pros, right? Yep, the uh, View Pro 65 inch. So View Pros plugged in. I'm able to bring in my whiteboarding system. Once again, he just plugged in it recently, so it takes a little bit to, to boot up and get set up. But you can see, you can add all the additional feature sets and functionality out of it, right? That's something that really is amazing for us. That's something that really helps define who we are and what we can do and how we can operate. So, um, to be fair, go ahead and shut off the whiteboard for a moment. Because okay. I, I, I really want to try over here. No problem. Let me, I want to I want to just kind of circle back and tie this all up for everybody, right? So, when I look at this, folks, somebody that, that really is relatively new to Microsoft, right? New, new to the Microsoft Teams rooms and what we're doing and what we're looking to accomplish. If somebody comes to me and say, hey, why Maxo? Why would I want to go with Max up on this? Well, one, I will tell you simplicity, right? We really try and make everything out there simple and easy to use. So it's plug and play. You don't have a lot of proprietary, you don't have any proprietary cables, actually. Everything that we use is standard based cabling. So it makes it simple and easy for installers, integrators, or even the do it yourself folks that want to install these setups, right? They need a cable, they need a longer cable, they need a shorter cable, they want to get some other cable go buy it from the store. They don't need to buy it directly from us. So no proprietary cables really makes it simple and easy for people. Two, compatibility. I don't know if you guys noticed, he actually has a Nerevo uh, soundbar <laughs> above in his background, right? We work with all third-party systems in the marketplace today, right? For us, with Microsoft Teams, the compatibility is not something you're going to have to worry about. We work seamless and flawlessly with all products in the marketplace simply plug them in they automatically sync they automatically find themselves and now they start to work simple and easy for us right um i will tell everybody this is something we have second to that nobody can bash us on is our three-year warranty right you have any problems with any hardware that you buy from us we have a full three-year warranty 
any issues, any problems, we will ship you out the replacement within 72 hours. That goes with everything we have across the board, right? So we really take care of our customers. And the very last thing is gonna be, yeah, price point. Yeah, we gotta talk about it, right? We gotta hit on the price point. The fact that we can help end users today that before was never even thought about equipping, equipping certain conference rooms because we have a lower price point, but can still give them the same quality, if not better than the competition. Yeah, that's definitely a reason to go with Max up, right? So we're really excited about this. You can see we're playing with it as we go. We're learning new things about it, right? We're gonna continue to test and get some of the bugs out of it, but we're having fun with this. We really are. And we hope you all will as, as well. I would tell you, get us involved with your customers. If you have questions, get us on calls. Reach out to your ESMs, reach out to Alan, reach out to myself. We wanna help you, right? Just like we did for our IFPs to get our IFP so successful, we wanna make sure we help you with our, our X-Core kit and the MTR product lines that we have. So if there's anything that you need, give us a call. Get us in front of your customers. We're happy to do these demos. We're happy to do these meetings. Right now, we actually have a bunch of open houses that are coming out. Take a look at our website, follow us on social media, make sure you see where we're at. These demos are coming live to your, your, uh, your territories. I am actually traveling to one, two, three, four territories in the next two months, both with 21 by nine and with our X-Core kit and our full breadth of other products as well. So really excited about it. Alan, anything you wanna to say to, to wrap up? No, that was fantastic. Yeah, so as everybody probably knows that they looked at my LinkedIn, I'm actually a former Microsoft technical specialist. So if you need demo use, you need help, you need any engineering assistance or questions from customers that need things, let me know, bring me in, schedule me in a meeting. I've done this for many, many years and I can help you out as well. And, and, and folks, you know us at Maxim. We're here to help you, not just once you get the sale, not just after the sale, but when you first start finding out about the deal and the introduction to get us involved. We want to help. We want to make sure that you're successful. Your success is our success. So we're all in with you. Hi, Zach. Hey, everybody. I hope you have a great week. I hope you have a great month and a great end of the year. I promise you, for those that were looking for the 21 by 9, we will have a 21 by 9 webinar here soon. Once I get back from a little bit of trip, so we'll be coming back and, and doing that live for you as well. So thanks again, everybody. We'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Thanks, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Charlie and Alan for all of that. Um, let's go over to Andy. I think there was one or two questions. I didn't know if you wanted to uh, speak on any of those about the price of the product and, and the touch screen. Uh, yeah, so in terms of the, uh, I think the one question that came on uh, was about the interactive flat panel that was behind both Alan and, and, and Charlie. So we offer anything from a 55 inch uh, display up to an 86 inch. So price wise, it varies from MSRP USD of 21, 30, 21 25, 39, all the way to about five, six thousand dollars, right? Depending depending on the uh, screen sizes. Yeah. And that's the view, the V6. Uh, uh, I believe. Uh, uh, I think uh, Alan uh, wrote on a C6, uh, C55, C5530. Uh, there was a classic V6. Yeah. Okay. Yep. V6 classic. Yep. Yeah, great. And then also, I had a question about from Carla about the. Um, unit. So it's $7.99. It comes with the PC plus a 10.1 inch uh, touch console. And then the, um, the M core kit. So the SO7 video bar, um, along with the, the touch panel is $13.49 for MSRP. Um, and everything is, what's the warranty on these? On these products, I think we had a question about yep. three year warranty and not all of products. Okay, awesome. Well, we want to really thank everybody for joining.